I'm back. You're going to get real tired of seeing this face. Um, I'm going to attempt to do a quick little demonstration of the EnviroCloth and the window cleaner, or the window cloth. Um, and I don't know how this is going to go on video, but we're going to try it. So here is a really dirty mirror that I found upstairs in my bathroom. And I'm just going to, it's already dirty enough, so that should be enough to show you what I need to. But I'm also going to smear some butter on it. I mean, I know you all aren't going to like run around your house smearing butter on things. But this gives you a good example of like fingerprints, sticky stuff, um, grease on your stove and in your um, microwave and just all the little greasy sticky handprints all over the place. We're going to really get that good just to prove a point. So it's already dirty underneath there you saw and now I've put grease basically all over it and I'm going to take my EnviroCloth. This is the main one. This is our flagship EnviroCloth. And it's damp. It's not wet. It's just damp. And I'm just going to wipe it a couple of times. See how fast that sticky stuff. Usually you use something to get something that um, buttery and greasy and it's just going to smear around. And it sort of did smear around, but it only took me, what, three swipes to get that really good and off of there fingerprints all kinds of fun things on here then I'm gonna take my window cloth this is dry totally dry it gets you all a better angle I'm not sure I'm doing a great job and I'm just gonna shine that puppy up I can't really see what I'm doing, but I think you can tell that we have gone from gross to shiny. I could, you know, do a little work still up here and move around, but at least now you can, you guys can maybe see yourselves. So, what we say is that this is like your peanut butter and jelly. They go together. This right here cleans all your surfaces. But then when you get to those sections where they really need to be polished, they really need to be shined up, then that's where this guy comes in. Um, if you're being lazy or you have a son like Canyon whose job is to just do the windows, sometimes if we're in a hurry, and I know he's not going to do both of these and our windows aren't really that bad because he's already done it the week before or whatever, I'll get this damp. Typically you use it dry to polish. But um, sometimes if it's not like a, you know, you're cleaning butter off of a, wind, of a mirror, <laughs> then you can damp this a little bit or just spritz it with a little bit of water and you can use it and it'll do the same thing if it's just a standard day that you need to clean up your windows. So it can be used damp, but typically these go together like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs>